You're tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network, featuring news, interviews, and commentary on all things Black Hollywood. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is Black Hollywood Live. Next, featuring intimate and in-depth interviews with Black Hollywood's next edition of Stars and Influencers. Black Hollywood Live. Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host for Black Hollywood Live, next. Where your ass is at, dog, when niggas pop in. Where your ass is at, dog, when niggas pop in. She don't want to get turned up. I'm with her. I'm doing, a, I'm doing a no-no. It's a no-no dance. Welcome to another edition of Black Hollywood Live, next. I am one of your hosts, Megan Thomas, at Meg Scoop on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Periscope. And I'm here with the one and only... You could have just said my name. Uh, <laughs> I love you. you. I'm Courtney Tezno. Keep in touch with me at Tezno's on Twitter and Instagram. And be sure to use that hashtag BHL next throughout our show. Yes. We have some amazing guests as always. We have three guys today on our couch. We're excited. They're so funny. They're hilarious. They're handsome. They're not bad to look at either, ladies. Mm-hmm. It's the cast of the new web series, Me, You, and Him. Yeah, let's clap it up. Give it up. Give it up. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. We've got hey. Jay Patrick Wise, Roger Payano, and of course Kenny Cooper. Hey. Thank you guys so much for joining yeah. us today. Thank you for having us. Appreciate Thanks you guys coming in. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna have a little fun with you guys first. Okay. okay we're gonna do an icebreaker. All right, let's go. Let's I like go. the icebreaker. Okay. This is called "Me, You, or Him." Oh. All right. Me, you, or him. So we're gonna give you a statement or a phrase or whatever, and then you decide if it's, is it me. If it's you, you say me. Yeah. If yeah. it's you, say you, point to you, or you can point to <laughs> him. Call out who it Whatever. is. Whatever. You can say it's him. Got or it's you. I like it. Or it's me. I like it. Whatever. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Out of the three of you, who is the best basketball player? Me. Me. You're crazy. Me. Absolutely. Come on, son. He, he, has a ba- he has a back of an 82 year old. I do have a bad <laughs> back. Okay, but who, still... who's Kobe? Who's LeBron? Um, uh, all right, I'm Kobe. <laughs> 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 and it's not that I'm not athletic. I just retired my basketball stuff after we lost the state championship. Yeah. When was this? High school. Oh. That was his oh. middle school. Middle school. school. Middle school. school. Lost the state championship. Oh, don't go in. Oh, <laughs> okay, so you would be c- considered the worst basketball player. I didn't. I would not use the word worst. Well, that was the next one we were gonna see. Who's the, the worst? Of you. Who's the worst? You know, it's funny. I would say Jay Pass, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. but but thing is, if you you don't know, Jay Pass played like five sports, like. Like really, really well in high school. Yeah. Like he's won state championships. What I've did never... you play in high school? Football, basketball, and ran track. Yeah. Yeah. What you or what'd you run in track? Uh I pole vaulted. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I also school. ran the eight. I did. <laughs> I ran the eight. Wow. Okay, the eight was a man's race. Yes. Okay. I did three hundred meter hurdles. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Play around eight. You no, you can't. Eight or uh, All right. And the four. The four is a oh, man's four race. Is a man. Oh, surely <laughs> a man's race. Yeah. Right. Okay, so out of the three of you, who's the best singer? J. Pat. Yeah. You're supposed to say him. him. Oh, him. him. Or you, Sorry, him. or me. Yeah. Him. Me, you, or him, guys. Come oh, on. No, no, it's me. You're right. You're right. You're right. No, you're him. Right. Him. 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 Okay. Him. Okay. Yeah. Okay, who's the best dancer? Me. Him. him. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you the best teacher? Like, what, what kind of dances do, do we, you do? Do we have to tell the story, though? We have uh, to tell the story? Oh, uh, yeah. You tell it, Coop? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, that, there's a Nintendo Wii game that's, like, the Michael Jackson game. Oh, oh that's story. So, like, we had, like, a tournament at his party game night one yeah. time. And, like, Roger doesn't even play, as he calls it, Nintendo video games. He calls <laughs> all video games word. Nintendo. <laughs> like, I don't even play Nintendo. And, like, so, like, if you won, you stayed on. You know, you stayed on, you played the next person. He had never played before. He stayed on for about 15 straight. He's sweating, beating everybody, <laughs> sweating. breaking high scores. Never, like, never well, I, would, I would kill you in Thriller. When it comes, dancing, the when it comes to dancing, it's just like, it, I take it extremely serious. So, um, in my <laughs> former life, I was a world-renowned dancer. Like, like what kind of dance? Life. Everything I did tap when I was oh, you talking about uh, now currently no, no, like when you were a dancer what did you do oh man like I did tap modern contemporary yeah. ballet I'm not, you know I'm playing like I've never danced in my life but this right. is what I'm saying in my I just love dance like right, right, right. so you think you can dance is like one of my favorite shows oh, oh. So. so we're gonna see you on there one day basically no you will not ah, but you make you know what you will see me in what? Dancing with the Stars thank you girl ah, you, you okay. you're like connecting to me. <laughs> When you're not on the phone. There you go. Oh. He's going in on me right, right now. Already. Okay, so for the three of you, who has the best body? Kenny. Him. Damn it. Him. him. Sorry. But who's now? Him? Who are you pointing to? Now. Him. Okay. Now. Yeah. I done had some pieces. Wait, wait. So 
That would have been you. That Domino seven ninety nine three top and large carry out special. Say what you get. until you had to be. Yeah, and yeah, golden yeah. Oreos. It's like come here. I was like, okay. I'll take you. Take okay. Me. All yeah. right. But other than that though. Yeah. Okay. Um, who has the worst habit? What which habit were we talking about? Whatever man? habit. Who's got the worst habit? I'm Watch it's gonna be me. me. It's, oh, it's <laughs> I'm gonna go with me. It's one of y'all two. It's, it's definitely one of, it's one of us. Wait, what, what's the bad habit? I don't know. Well, it's, 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 it's the funny thing is like it's it's the ends of the spectrum. Yes, I, I his, get, my, my, <laughs> his habit. His habit is not not having sex but right. masturbating. My habit is having sex and masturbating. <laughs> oh my so, god! There you go. Okay. Worst. So, so honest. I love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Who is the the best driver out of you three? Me, Roger. Yeah. Why are you the best driver? I drive dangerously smart. Oh. What does that's that like mean me. exactly? Five, boom. Yeah, it's, Crazy, I mean, not reckless. Yeah. yeah exactly. I, I mean, know I just you. I think you know Megan, what? Yeah. I think Megan drive a little. Yeah. You know, just because my bumper was hanging off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was my fault. Oh. Thank you. It's <laughs> called a bumper. I'm supposed to bump things. Exactly. That's, right. oh, that's, that's how you know it's functional. Yeah. That's what I said. It's, it's okay. functional, not ornamental. Yeah. Okay, who has the highest GPA? Who graduated with the highest GPA? Not me. <laughs> Him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, in well, in college or in no. high school? No. Either. I think it's me in high school. In college, I actually got smarter in college. Uh, I say me in high school. Okay, yeah. I graduated three four, high school, in, in college. Me too. Yeah, me too. Uh, oh. College was there, but you kind of went to a high, you went to a white school, so like that doesn't ah. count. That's, that that's better. Oh, no, it doesn't. A black school don't count. A black school don't count. A black school don't count. Dude, you know how many you know how many distractions I had, son? But a black school don't count. It's not even credit. You don't have real classes. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> Why are you? School, at black school, they they they, they, they show. Hey, you listen. Too. Tell them what your degrees in though. Uh, well, I got a I got a uh, a bachelor's in mechanical engineering and a bachelor's oh. in, in a, a master's in industrial engineering. Okay, that's yeah. hard. I don't know. Yeah, you, yeah, you probably he, he, he got a three point four in liberal arts. Communications. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Whatever. We're not going in on degrees. Same. 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 Yeah, I don't know, Kenny. I don't know. They got a same thing. Communication. You know, at a white school though. At a white, at a white school. school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know still. Uh, okay. okay, who eats the most food? Me. Roger. Him. Him. Is yes. it because you work out so much? Uh, a little bit of that, and I'm just like a fat boy inside. Okay. Like, Got fat kids stuck in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Who is the best at getting chicks? Kenny. Y'all all pointing I mean, in different directions. Him. <laughs> okay. Everybody. Him. Them. Them. All right. Them. <laughs> Them. Yeah. Okay. No we, before we get into um, an interview about you guys, we want to talk yeah. about some up and coming current things that are going on. Let's talk about some casting stuff. Mm. Who uh, do that? Oh. Everyone's favorite uncle, father, brother man is Denzel Washington yes. and he is set to receive <laughs> oh, cool. the DeMille Award at the Golden Globes and it's uh, always given to somebody who has done amazing things in entertainment he's never won this award before and he's actually the third black person to win it Sidney Poitier won it back in the day and who else won it oh um, Morgan Freeman so he joins the league of, Amer of, of amazing men who have won the Cecil B. DeMille Award at nice. the Golden Globes nice. and that will air January 10th uh, it's a Sunday on mm -hmm. NBC all right, I always loved Denzel. Congratulations, Denzel. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, go. Okay, so we always talk about some new trends here on Next, and there's a new fitness trend. It's actually in Australia called crooning. So take a look up there. That's actually crooning. it's called um, crooning? it's called crooning, or crooning, 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 crooning. I'm country, y'all. What does it stand for? Um, it, it stands for like bear crawling for your fitness exercises. Oh, no, I thought it was yeah. Trump dancing and running. No, <laughs> so this is the the crooning phenomenon that people are getting into in Australia. Would you guys take this up out here in the U.S.? I've done some form of a bear crawl, but calling it something other than a bear crawl, I would it's just say. Yeah. No, why? they are taking this serious. Like, this is becoming... Like, the whole workout is like, yeah. you crunning, a, crunning, crunning yes. around? Crunning, <laughs> crunning around. Crunning around, yes. Like, oh, why it's do they call crawl it a run. running? Crawl like, run. It's crawl run. Crawl run. Mm -hmm. crawl run. Oh, crawl run. Yeah, it's a crawl run. run. Yeah. But no, I liked hers. I liked hers. I liked hers. She said running. I like Yeah, bear crawl. I feel like a bee would be better. I feel like it would be bad for your back. Blood versus crip. I'd rather say. Such a gangster. Well, I think it's kind of unusual, but I want to know what are the benefits like what parts of your body are you working? That's a, you know like bear crawl is like that's major. Hard, like that's yeah. like that's, that's shoulders, that's legs, knees, and toes. Mm. <laughs> toes. You just said a song. I think. There you go. Wipe me down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I heard you guys talking about Bieber earlier. Has anyone listened to his new album? Fully? The whole thing. The whole of thing. Course. Can he own of course. Kenny owns it. You did. Okay. You know, yes. Him. He does. He is into music. He's yes. Music guy. Yes. Of course. The okay. Beeps. Well. All right. <laughs> the believer. Well, the you're a believer. Yeah, Whoa. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Such a talented guy. You know yeah. what? What can you say? Oh my gosh. So for anyone that hasn't heard his new song, we're gonna listen to. I'll show you. Let's hear what yeah, Beeps has to yeah. say. <laughs> Get that out 
Is that him dancing or no? No, these people are killing it with the choreo. Uh, I was about to say. Actually, Justin has been using a lot of good That's dances dope. in his videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I like it. This is hey. a... They credit in the video. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll say... I, I think I'll listen to it. I'm I listened to his whole Bieber album fan, and but... I wasn't. I wasn't. My sister was so into it. This last one was a good one. Yeah. I think I have would you guys listen to it? Yeah. I mean, I know you would, Kenny. Absolutely. But... We got his last soul. two albums, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you bought those? Illegally downloaded. Uh, oh, my goodness. You that. going to the world tour? Absolutely. Look at you. You are a true believer. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Girls tour. Is that a world tour? Oh, your girls tour. Got it. Now, before we get into the interview with you guys, we actually have to go ahead and thank our sponsors. Do you guys uh, play DraftKings? Or fantasy football? Fantasy football at all. No. Next, no. next season, I'm going to get into it. Okay. Am I the only person in here who's like the biggest fantasy she football She really is. Oh, she I is. Yahoo, Yahoo, two Yahoo, leagues. Yahoo, yeah. I mean, like, How every. How many leagues you in? Two. I'm in a boy league and a girl league. Oh, wow. Like my boy league, I suck this year. And then my girl league, I'm killing it. Like you got a quarterback. <laughs> um. Well, here's the thing. I always get Peyton Manning every year because I'm oh, a Peyton fan. Oh, I know, but right this year he's he's doing me dirty. So oh, I have man. Matt Ryan in right now, but. No, all right. Not too good. Well, right. for guys that are going to get tuned into it, DraftKings has a new millionaire every week, so you guys can use our promo code BLACK to go ahead and play for free to win a million dollars. That's yes. No, That's it's not it's Black, Black Hollywood, Hollywood Live. live. You, you can't say? use a promo code Black Hollywood. Why not, like, why not BHL? Like, like it's, 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 it's not right. long we enough. We didn't make it up. Right. Listen, it's Black. Right. Well, thank, thank you, DraftKings. Thank you. <laughs> So again, they crown they crown a new millionaire every week. So you can get into the running by using our promo code Black. That is not racist. It stands right. for Black Hollywood Live. Right. And um, enter Buzz for free entry into entry now into DraftKings.com. So head over to that. You probably should head over actually. Yeah, yeah I'm excited yeah, I because I have to get rid of Peyton this week. So I'll be heading over to DraftKings.com and using the promo code Black. You'll be better with yeah. Marcus Mariota. You know what? Leave me alone. <laughs> Let's talk about you guys. Let's talk, Let's about, talk about, you. about okay. So you're the cast of me, you, and him. Yes. So funny. It just got released. How did you guys even meet to come up with this concept? Oh, wow. Um, Who tells that story? So me and Kenny met yeah. in D.C. Mm -hmm. Did a film. That's how we knew each other from D.C. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I met Jay Pat. Oh, I moved. Yeah. yeah, I moved here. And the first film I booked, he was he was, uh, he was, he was, a, he was a supporting actor. In yeah. It, and we met there. I went to go visit Kenny at his home. And he walks out of the other room, and they were roommates. Not, I didn't what? know, but I didn't know. Uh, yeah, so that was crazy. So I was like, oh, wow, that's okay. crazy. Yeah, that's good. Uh, <laughs> and um, so we, we worked together, like, separately, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. And then uh, one day we sat down. I was like, man, we can do this. Like, we saw so much work that we felt that we can do, that we could be better at. Mm -hmm. So... Um, um, we just decided we have the uh, we have the what's the word I want to say we have the talent yeah we have the resources yeah and um, we just said let's do this let's start writing right. and, and we also saw a necessity for what we wanted to create there you go mm. right. there, was a, there was a hole mm -hmm. in the in the culture for what we wanted to do so what actually inspired you guys to start me me you and him uh well the, the and what is it about fill me in actually what let's what is there. it about right. and what inspired you guys to go ahead and uh, do this web series all right so the name of the show is me you and him meyouhimseries.com uh, and what it does it addresses dating in the digital age mm. like how do men and women interact right with dating now that they, we have this advent of social media uh, like you're dating somebody and you're finding out how she feels about you on Instagram or Facebook right. before she looks you in your face and tells you to pettywop.com right exactly mm. it's like petty wop. Went, went, so out, petty. went out with this guy <laughs> last night he was cute my outfit not gonna see him more. again not gonna see him again hashtag free meal thank you Jesus won't he do it Dang! <laughs> is this a true story? No, I just made it up. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't want to say it. It's like, dang. But it has married? happened to someone, I'm sure. It has happened to someone. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Okay, so how did you guys come up with this name? Is it because it's three of you guys? Where did this name come from? Uh, I'm going to speak on that real quick. Go for so, it. everything that I've ever done, I cannot start unless we have a name. I, can't, mm -hmm. I, can't, I, can't, I cannot start until I have a title to it. What right. are we? Exactly. So, exactly. so what are we? Exactly. What are we now? We and are, I, are I remember we, we got together. It was I can October 18th, 2013. We got together. And we started. They were like, well, let's, let's pitch ideas. And I was like, I cannot start unless we have a title mm -hmm. to this thing. And I was like, well, you know, we're gonna do, well, we'll do me. And then, you know, tomorrow we'll do you. And, da -da -da -da. and I was like, nah, that's what it is. It's going to be me, you, and him. 
Mm-hmm. You know, you will be in a relationship, and then you give him some insight, and then him interferes. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. into into the whole thing. So that was like the first concept. But once we started writing, we started bringing in the social media aspect, and we we're like, wait, wait a second. You know, it's really about me and Megan dating, and social media, him interfering. Right. So it's really ah. me, you, and him. I like that. I like, I like, so that, a I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So yeah, it him, evolved. Him as a third person that's silently clear into every relationship. Yeah, that cl- dark gray cloud. Ooh. That social media cloud. Mm. That yeah. over Why you gotta be a him? How come it can't be a her? Uh-uh. Could have been a shim. Let's not. Okay. Boom. Right. <laughs> what? Been, yeah. uh, so it's, you guys are all writers on this web series, correct? Yes. yes. What, what's the writing process look like for you guys? Him is gonna talk. Uh, you know what it looks like? The earlier before we started doing this taping, how we just around and we're talking mess for about an hour straight, and we're like, "Oh, you see this? This Instagram? You see that? You see mm-hmm. this?" And that's literally how we start. And it's like, "Oh yeah, best we better start writing something now." Mm-hmm. And and that's how the social media became got into the show, right? Yeah, because it was like we were already talking about it. It was already part of life, and before we knew it, we were writing about it. Right, right, and right. So that that's. Like, yeah, it was not. There's no magic, no special, and uh, <laughs> we, we definitely didn't have a template. Like we no. didn't say, "Oh, these are gonna be, we're gonna do a beat sheet, right. and then we're gonna have a you know character an outline, breakdown, yeah, character breakdown." No, we yeah. just we just sat down. We, we would clown out for the first two hours, yeah, mm-hmm. and then be like, "Okay, let's go." That that you know that right. that became funny. Us talking yeah. about what happened that week yeah. became funny to us, yeah. and then we started writing it down. Right, right, right. You know? And at the time. At the time, we the things that are in the show, we were actually going through that, right? You know, not, not uh, really, not not you know, we embellish a little bit, yeah. but that we put a little bit of ourselves in the script. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so were you guys in relationships when you guys started, and then that's where you got your inspiration from? Where did um, where did all that come from? I was. <laughs> okay, so was. from you were speaking from truth. Yes, absolutely. Actually, the the lost episode now of our series. <laughs> um, like it starts off with with uh, my character moving in with his girlfriend, and literally I had just done that a month prior. We were at the, the house uh-huh. shooting. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, writing where I had just moved in with my girlfriend. So mm. yeah. yeah, so yeah, it takes from there. We're no longer together, ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> 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 so let, let's speak on that. So you're not dating. Uh, are you dating right now? No, you're not you know, in I, a relationship. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not in a relationship. With, no, we broke up uh, about a year ago. About a year ago. Okay, about so a year ago. I dated. <laughs> <for, laughs> Any guys dating. in relationships? No, no. Well, I mean, dating. Yes. Dating. What is? What, okay, let's go. So across, what does that yeah. consist dating. of in LA? What does dating mean in LA? Mm, that's such a good question. That's a it good is. question. What is? What does it mean? I I don't know. I haven't done it. You yeah. haven't dated? He hasn't dated in a long time. I haven't dated in a while. Why have you not dated, I've Patrick? Been uninten- well, un- I've been intentional about not doing okay. it. Okay. Uh, because I realized that there are some things I personally want to develop okay. about mm-hmm. myself. Uh, not things that are necessarily bad, but I, I just I want to be intentional about how I address and approach dating altogether. Oh, that's, inten- good. that's good. That's good. Intentional about the women I in, in, you know, engage with and approach. So... I just want to say this. I go to church with Patrick. All you ladies out here, he is a catch. Hilarious. I appreciate Megan. it. Megan. Slide through his DMs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was crazy was crazy that like I took the same approach, but I love ladies. <laughs> oh, trust me, bro. I love And them. that approach did not work out for me. I love the ladies. What is your, oh approach? My What's your dating approach then, Roger? My dating approach. Wow, that's why. He's excited. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you know, can, can I talk about the, the new approach that I have? So, like. I'm trying my best, and this is real talk right here, that um, unfortunately, and this, I think this happens to a lot of people, that the physical portion of the relationship happens really, really fast. Right. Yeah. So I've been trying lately to like, like temper that down. Like, mm-hmm. let's get to know each other, because I may actually like you. <laughs> right? I may no, actually right. like yeah. you. Yeah, no, no, I mean, no, that's good. Because if I don't, like, if I do get something a little early, then I, should, like, I may not like you anymore. You know right, I mean? right, right, right. Because that's what you're used to. Well, not that I'm used to. I just suffer from um, new car smell. There you go. So <laughs> I, I co- I that's a good way that. to put that. A, a new car smell syndrome, you know. And after a while, the new the car doesn't smell so new. <laughs> Ladies, don't be that. Not let's, bad. Let's, let's go, <laughs> no, to, let's no, go no, across no. the room. What are um, what are two qualities you look for in a woman? Ooh. Oh for, wow. This is for our ladies yeah. up here. So, okay. um, and I would put these on equal playing fields where I, where I think most people wouldn't. Uh, a relationship with Christ specifically, but also the character that accompanies that. Because I know people who love Jesus, but they're crazy. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So somebody who has character to match it, uh, and we're th- and there's a compatibility with both. Right. Okay. Because you can meet good people, but it's like you good, but we don't match. Yeah. Right. Not, right. A good yeah. person is not good for you. Yeah. 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 You good, but you good for somebody else. Mm-hmm. Does that happen to you a lot? 
I, I don't really try. I haven't tried, ah, so okay. I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. say that. Okay. All right. Um, wit, wit and intelligence. Like I really like. I'm. Uh, I would. What was that thing called? It's called like a, 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 a sapiosexual or something. There like you that? go. I wouldn't what say does that I was, mean? Sapiosexual is like um, you're attracted to someone's brain intellect. Yeah, the intellect. Ah. Um, that's, good. that's not what I'm attracted to because the, I'm attracted <laughs> to what I see first. <laughs> and then if you're smart, so then that's honest. even like a better. Because the thing is people right. are like, oh, I want you to be attracted to my brain. I don't know the brain. I don't know right. Brain. I see you first. Right. And then you have to impress me with your brain. And that's right, what I'm trying right. to get at The now. brain will keep you. Exactly. The yeah. brain is going to keep me around. I need to have fun with you on a regular basis. Yeah. Right. So, right. Um, yeah, yeah. Wit. Wit and intelligence. All Kenny. right. What about you, Kenny? Um, you know, I, I'm probably the weirdest Data in LA, but I'm I'm really successful at it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, for, for, the, for this reason, for this reason is I don't I'm not looking I don't look for anything I, I don't have anything like first of all I need to be attracted to you right I have to be able to talk to you right there has to be some type of conversation we have to be able to do that and past that I I, I put everything aside and I try to get to know the person because right. you're gonna find out if you do that and you say you, if you're looking for something you're not gonna find it. Or you're gonna be disappointed because you, you, what's in your head is not is never gonna be what you see. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, you, if you clear the slate, you know the person, you meet, the, and there's that spark, then you can you can put up with a lot of stuff. We all have. Right. You know what I mean? We we exactly. have all these rules, but if the, that person that makes us feel a certain way inside comes along, yo, yo, date a person with three legs and you know that it's dumb and it's it smoke weed like feel, crazy and stuff. Smoke weed, true, oh. real talk. Yeah, these are some <laughs> of the things that have happened. <laughs> What are some of the, the the things that we're going to see in the web series that are some experiences that you've had with dating? Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Heartbreak. Um, said the, heartbreak. I said heartbreak. 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 Mm -hmm. I said heartbreak. Um, I, the influx of trying to replace that heartbreak. Mm -hmm. So um, So rebounds. Rebounds. That's it. a good question. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's, a good, that's a good answer. Rebounds, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we, we're talking to someone and the damage that we all have we we're like we're all damaged yeah. in a way and that's one yeah. of the things that we uh, that's what i think that's what cells are in a web series yeah because we're not men and we're not glorifying the fact that we're dudes and we get at chicks yeah like we glorify that we're like damaged we're damaged property yeah. mm -hmm. and we're just trying to get over or get over this hump that we're in with our with our current relationship or like what, thereof. what you will see is like guys coming to grips with the role that they play in relationships mm -hmm. which is something that you don't always see on television uh, it's like, oh no, I, I'm, I have a role to play. I have a part to play in the success or the downfall right. of this relationship. So you come to grips with that, and then you got to decide what you're gonna do. And that's mm -hmm. when the man up thing comes into play. I love this. I'm so excited to see. But this the thing we here. haven't mentioned is, it's funny. It is yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys comedy. are funny guys. Yeah, it's actually yeah, a comedy. Funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys are so. I know you guys are such funny guys. Like just hearing you talk makes me go, okay, I have to watch this because right. please really do. Good. And tell a friend to tell a friend that's gonna yes. tell another friend. Yeah, <laughs> we got some friends. Now for yes, I'm gonna watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of Wait, I, I do want to know this thing just on a personal level. Yeah. What kind of as you guys are doing this and you're you're putting this whole web series together, what have you learned about yourself that will help make you have more success with relationships? Hmm. I think I've learned more about the relationship between us. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, there's been some fires between yeah. us, you know. Um, and it's funny, like, you know, during the writing process, everything was cool. Shooting was cool. Everything was great until we got to post-production. Yeah. And then we oh. learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself more than anything. Uh -huh. Like, I'm very, very reactive, very, very, like, you know, explosive. Did you guys get fights? No, no, we don't fight. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm saying, so it was no, just a uh, difference of opinions. Like you wanted to keep something, and you wanted to keep something else in, or I mean, what three, do you mean in post production? It's, it's three, it's three heads trying to get one product out. Right. Got and, it. Uh, and usually you have one head, and they they make the decisions, and boom. Right, but right, it's right. three of us, mm -hmm. and we're going out there, and so it's it was it was that to be quite honest, even that part wasn't even all that hard. It was just about like when are we gonna get this out to the people, to right. the masses? That that became a deal. How mm -hmm. are we gonna yeah. do it? Um, yeah. But I think the question was about our actual relationships with women. Yeah. But I What'd you learn? Yeah. So. Yeah. What's the question? <laughs> what did we <laughs> learn? Your, as far as in the process of shoot, shooting this yes. and and coming up with these storylines, what have you learned for yourself to make to be more successful with relationships? Well, well, literally me, I broke up with my girlfriend during shooting. So like literally, I was going through a breakup while shooting this with a, with a character that I wrote about her. About her. Yeah. Oh. So like I was reliving the relationship while I was going through my breakup. Oh wow. So yeah, yeah. So like I, I learned a lot about myself and realizing that like what was healthy and what was unhealthy. 
about my previous relationship mm -hmm. and like um you know you say on paper somebody seems perfect for right you, but some it's you you have to love each other the way you both need to be loved mm -hmm. no matter how nice of people you guys are you have to love each other the way both of you need right yeah. love language you got to know that love, that language. love language oh yeah yes, I, absolutely. I also learned uh what it looks like to lead somebody on to make them believe that you want something that you don't actually want in terms of relationships mm -hmm. okay you you no like, no no it does it does so you know, like, you're, you you're, you're kind of fe you're before? fearful sometimes to you do end things out of yeah. sincere yeah. Out, of, out of sense out of the sincerity of your heart just yeah. to be a good person to help oh, somebody I see out you mean. okay and that can be misinterpreted right. as oh you like me and it's like i do like you but i don't want to be with you yeah uh mm -hmm. but then you come to grips like oh maybe i do like you ah uh, okay i see you know what i okay. mean and then you got to come back to this person and be like hey i messed up right like, right like i want you like what's up yeah. Ooh, it's confusing it is. Yeah. Oh, but let, I, I know I know oh. but I want to know what advice do you guys have to anyone that's trying to actually pursue acting because there is some acting that goes into this oh yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah you know uh, start acting start like yeah. start doing it's it's not rocket science and it, you, <laughs> you can get your training but start there's there's theater you have a cell phone put something on YouTube just mm -hmm. start acting because the only way you're gonna you're gonna ever get better you're gonna get into it is to do it yeah. right I love it. And then uh, outside of this, what are some other projects that you have guys have going on? Oh, uh, me? Just our first one. Yeah. Uh, I got, I got two shows I'm shooting that start in December. Okay. I don't, I don't know if they'll wrap this year, but they start in December. Okay. Mm -hmm. Busy guy. Busy. Be on the lookout for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm currently in film school, so um, just shooting on. Oh, dope. Yeah, shooting on some most of my. So wait, films. do you want to be a director, or a filmmaker? What is your goal with that? Um. I'm really enjoying being behind the camera. I mean, I still want to. I still want to entertain no matter what. But I think I want to go into actual cinematography. Wow. Oh, okay. So um, directing has been fun. You know, we, we, I, I mean, I don't know if I would say even I directed you guys to be quite honest with you, because the best the best directors you got all you got to do is hire the hire good actors and you're good. Right. So I did that part. Just be a good casting director. <laughs> there you go. Um, there you go. But anyway, but uh, yeah, yeah, I think I want to go into cinematography. Okay. All right. And as maybe you informed me, I guess I have a commercial on TV right now. Yes. <laughs> 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 I did not know about, but yeah, I go. do. So I'm in a PetSmart commercial, so that's great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Tell yeah. I actually, I actually found out that I, that literally today that um, I'm pinned to a wall for something big. I oh yay! Yeah. Oh, oh wow, well, look yeah. surprised. Thanks, bro. I'm, I got a pin in me right now. So okay. Got a pin in me, so hopefully. You know. Tell about that tweet okay. video, Coop. Oh yes, I'm ah. currently in tweets video for uh, her new single, "Won't Hurt Me." I am the male lead. Uh, I'm the male vixen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the male video. Oh, yeah. Okay. They I call like me. It. They call me Superhead. Cause, oh cause no. My head's big, cause my head's oh, big. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'd be like, what? Oh, <laughs> cool. yeah. 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 So yeah. Mine's in the gata. Well, we love this web series. Where can we find all of you guys and the web series online? Okay. All right. Web series www.meuhemseries on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at me, you, him, series. Personally, at J Patrick Wise, the letter J, P-A-T-R-I-C-K-W. All right. Um, my personal is Roger Payano, P-A-Y-A-N-O, at everything, <laughs> at everything. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. And I am Kenny Cooper Axe, like I'm an actor, I'm not Axe, like I said. The spray? Like, yeah. But most importantly, but most importantly, yes. that me you him, me, me you him, him series, me you him yeah. series, at yeah. me you him series, at everything, and um, and how many episodes right now? Eight episodes. They're eight. on. They're on. There. We, we dropped. Season. Yeah, we dropped it in um the the Netflix model. Yeah. So you can watch the entire season. Binge watch. Binge watch it. Seventy nine. I mean, seventy three minutes of your life. Oh yes! All right, the best seventy three minutes, huh? Yeah, it is. All right, <laughs> that's how I deliver seventy three minutes. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? Huh? What? huh? <laughs> you me him. Him. <laughs> They're hilarious. Keep in touch with me at wait at Tesno's on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Courtney Tesno, and use that hashtag again BHL next. Yeah. And you can find me Megan Thomas on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Periscope at Meg Scoop, like scoop of ice cream. Make sure you guys put the comments below. Let us know what you think about the show. What do you? Who else do you want to be on this show? We want to know. So hit us up. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. 
from producers Maria Menounos, Dario Christing, Tiana Hobson, Kevin Undergaro, and the entire BHL crew, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us at info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I'm your BHL announcer, Scipio. Instagram me at Planet Scipio. Thank you for tuning in. Hollywood Redefined. The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.